Fellas, AC here. Welcome to another video, another review. Trying this in natural light. Hope this comes off okay. I never get an opportunity to shoot in a natural light, but today I'm trying it. So, 10 out of 10 fragrance, Serge Luton's Chargui is the subject of today's video. First of all, I'm going to tell you why it's a 10 out of 10 fragrance. Number one, this fragrance has been blended to perfection. It's one of the most unique smelling, one of the most luxurious smelling, one of the most creative fragrances ever made, tobacco fragrances. And I've smelled quite a few tobacco fragrances. This one doesn't go out of the way to create compounds, make use of tons of notes, and still comes off creating an absolute masterpiece. It's a honey tobacco that dime a dozen. Many fragrances use honey and tobacco combination. This one still comes off as one of the most creative, one of the most brilliant compositions ever made. Now, I have a very high regard for this one. This came out in 2005 and the perfume is Christopher Sheldrake. Now, Serge Luton's is a brand that is on a greasy pole at the moment, sadly. Most of their fragrances are very hard to get hold of. They've been reformulated. So now they come in a dark label. I can't speak of that. I don't know how that smells. This is a vintage. This is a 2015, 2014 formulation. So I really can't speak of what the new ones smell like. Their marketing is absolutely horrendous. They are led by Shiseido now. Most of the fragrances you have to go through um, Paris Boutique and order them from there. Some of the real good ones have been discontinued. It's a mess, but their fragrances are amazing. So I hope they turn this around. And nobody has a good word to say about the current marketing strategy. Anyways, gripe over. Let's talk about this fragrance. An absolute masterpiece. Okay, when you first spray it, let me do a spray because I've got a spray at the top of my hand, which is about 45 minutes old. So fresh spray. Now I've never sprayed it on my shirt because I'm wary that this might leave a stain. It's always been on my skin. The opening is a bit shocking, but since I'm used to this fragrance and since I love this fragrance so much, it's not shocking to me, but it is a bit harsh. All you smell is a very medicinal smell, very medicinal herbal, dry, full on, thick and multi-layered fragrance. Yeah. The opening is also very spicy. So what they've got here is iris, tobacco, hay, musk and rose. Yeah, very dark rose, but very opulent rose, very powdery as well. And I love powdery scents extremely powdery and that iris is just amazing yeah so it starts off smelling like a new compound has been created has been invented you can't pick this up un until unless you've got huge amounts of patience and a lot of experience in picking up notes this is so well blended it smells very very powdery very thick rich not resinous but very thick and rich and powdery and very dry extremely dry really really overpowering so essentially what happens in about half an hour and that is the sweet spot after half an hour till about six hours this is an absolutely amazing journey and it lasts well beyond six hours but half an hour to six hours is the most sweet spot what happens is you have at the center of this creation a beautiful dark rich rose along with honey and iris it's powdery very deep very sensual amazing rose and along with that is this beautiful full bodied honey, but it's not resinous. It's, uh, it's starting to come off here. That hay note pokes its head and takes this uh, sort of composition in a very different territory. Hay is the most important note in this composition, along with tobacco. Ah, that hay, that hay is the star of the show. That hay is what makes the fragrance not wear off towards a sweet, gourmand, uh, sticky fragrance. It makes the fragrance extremely dry, very appealing and extremely unique. After about half an hour, 45 minutes, you have this beautiful, rich tobacco, extremely dry, very, very opulent, very um, charismatic tobacco. It's a very charismatic note. The fragrance turns extremely 
elegant and slightly sensual, tremendously charismatic, just amazing, yeah? And that's how this fragrance remains. In about two hours time, you get a note of creamy sandalwood. The fragrance from dry, from heavy incense. There's a little note of incense, I believe, which makes the fragrance smoky, yeah? But all the notes are there right from the beginning. It's just what which ones play their role. In the middle stages, after about two hours, the fragrance becomes from dry powdery to creamy. The sandalwood comes and plays the role. And the fragrance never, in spite of having this beautiful, rich honey, never becomes dirty or sleazy. It never becomes that. Because there's this note of musk. Musk along with iris keep the fragrance clean, but always sensual. Always. Extremely sensual. What a beautiful fragrance this is, guys. It's like, you know, it's, and it's so well made and so beautifully constructed. It gives you the impression. Okay, let me give you the imagery. Imagine yourself sitting in a very posh club in leather upholstery because there's this leathery undertone to this fragrance. People in that club are allowed to smoke indoors. Yeah, and they're smoking scented tobacco flavored tobacco rather than cigarettes yeah and if you've ever smelt a person smelling scented tobacco it's really beautiful it's lush full overpowering everything it takes over all your senses it leaves a huge plume whoever is smoking the pipe so imagine yourself doing that sat on a leather sofa in a very posh bar and you're basically talking to a very pretty woman very pretty woman with a lot of brains and she uses a powdery makeup and she's quite close to you so that's the kind of imagery that comes to my mind a woman with substance having a, a beautiful conversation with you and you're smoking a scented pipe tobacco that's how i see this fragrance yeah one of the most finest creations now this hay is what a genius of an idea it is this hay is what holds the fragrance together along with that rose and honey it's just impeccable this fragrance is a genuine masterpiece i every time i spray this i've had a love affair with this fragrance for about five years and i've had decants as well but this bottle has been there in my collection for about five years i tell you this fragrance is a absolute gem of a fragrance yeah Pros and cons. Number one pro is the impeccable blending. The fragrance has been blended to perfection. It's one of the most beautifully blended tobacco fragrances I've come across. It really flows me. Yeah, That's number one. Number two is no expense has been spared when it comes to these beautiful compounds. You know, whatever chemical compounds they've used. The iris is top notch. The tobacco is top notch. The honey is just unbeatable. The rose is amazing. The iris is amazing. The tobacco is amazing. Every single thing that they have used in this fragrance is just outstanding, top of the shelf compound. It's just one of the most beautiful, amazingly constructed fragrances. I'm sorry I'm using this word again and again, but it really leaves me speechless every time I, you know, spray this on. The third one is the creativity. That hay. Who would have thought, <clears throat> excuse me, of using a hay note? to balance this composition from veering off into another direction. It's just a beautiful idea. Very, very creative and so unique, you know. I've not smelled many fragrances that smell like this. The tobacco note in this one reminded me of Aramis Tobacco Reserve, which was released last year or maybe this year, last year. And I've done a review, full review, you can check that out. The tobacco in that fragrance is very similar to the tobacco used here. What a splendid fragrance this is. Okay, downsides. Number one, powdery. It's a powdery fragrance. If you don't like powdery fragrance, then you might not like this. Number two, this is a full-on composition, guys. If you don't like rich, full fragrances, yeah, complete experience, then stay away from this one. This is a heavy, heavy fragrance with a huge emphasis on opulence, richness. Extremely rich fragrance, yeah? So those are the two downsides I could think of. In spite of that, I've given it a 10 out of 10. How's the performance? Tremendous. This thing is an easy 12 hour fragrance. First six hours to seven hours, you get the whole thing. Then you get this reduced set of mostly honey with musk and sandalwood, 
slight hint of tobacco and hay yeah but that subset is equally nice that's the performance seasons i've worn this in every season and apart from summer i can enjoy this fragrance anytime this is extremely heavy so i try not to wear this in summer occasions evening time is the best time to wear this when you're slightly dressed up elegantly dressed you can wear this one more downside i forgot to mention this is completely unisex yeah so ladies as well as gentlemen can enjoy this if you don't like unisex uh, fragrances i still insist you try and sample and try and sample the vintage ones because i can't speak of the new formulations okay age groups i think this will suit anybody anybody who has had a little bit of experience with fragrances and can wear a fragrance which is of niche quality and complexity they will be able to wear this compliment factor extremely high again you get a compliment from a person who understands a creation like this don't expect this to be complimented if you're going to a crowd uh, which is not too experienced with niche perfumery you will not uh, get a compliment but if someone who understands perfumery smells you they will they are bound to compliment you they're bound to recognize this yeah there's hardly anyone who would know shergi so shergi is just top tier in my fragrance collection absolute top tier so uh, value for money medium serge luton's fragrances are expensive this one is 50 ml it cost me about 59 normally it goes for about 75 to 95 so it is quite a bit expensive comes to about two pounds in ml if you go through the direct route if you can find yourself a deal i think you can get it for about 60 to 70 for 50 ml which brings it down to about one pound something which is quite affordable i've already given it a marks 10 out of 10 unreserved 10 out of 10 this is one of the most beautifully composed creative tobacco fragrances that is both very confident and very elegant at the same time never becomes sleazy one of the most beautiful fragrances ever made yeah 10 out of 10 hope you like the review fellas take care bye bye